Feeding your chickens table scraps is actually one of the best things you can do for them and it also gets rid of waste without having to throw it in the trash. There are some really great things you can give them and there are some that you absolutely have to avoid. Welcome to Lori Farm and stick around and I'll tell you the one thing you should absolutely never ever feed your chickens. So some of the really good things that you can give to chickens is really any squash, um, especially the seeds they'll go for first, which is really good for them. It'll help with egg production. Another really great thing is bananas. They're really high in magnesium and potassium and they can actually eat the whole banana, obviously remove the sticker, but they can have the peel and the banana itself. So if you have some going rotten bananas, you don't feel like making bread, give them to the chickens. Pears and apples are also something that chickens really, really enjoy. And they're really nutritious too, so make sure never to throw anything out. Another really great one is leafy greens. That could be any type of salad or spinach really any leafy green. Chickens can also have any cooked meat. So if you got leftover burger, chicken, hot dogs, they can definitely eat that too. It's also really good protein for them, so it'll help with egg production. Chickens can also have grains, uh, spaghetti noodles or any other pasta noodles. It's kind of entertaining to watch them fight over it because one will have one end and the other will have the other end. It also keeps them busy too, especially um, this time of year when they get a little bored and they can't scavenge as much. So it's always a good thing to give them something to keep them busy. Other things that chickens can eat would be grapes, berries of any variety. Um, ours like a lot of blueberries, raspberries, blackberries. They can also have cabbage and broccoli pretty much any vegetable, um, sweet potatoes, anything like that is always a good treat. A few things chickens can have, probably shouldn't have too much of, would be cooking grease from like bacon and things. They do like it as a treat. I wouldn't overfeed them. Garlic's another good one that can be given in moderation because it's got really good antiviral and antibiotic properties to it. I wouldn't give it too often. You can start to get maybe a little garlic taste in your eggs if you overdo it. But if they're sick or something, it's a good thing to give to them for a little while. Other things would be potatoes, um, regular potatoes. Just make sure that the peel is not green because that is toxic to chickens. So you do want to be careful with potatoes. A really great thing for chickens is eggshells. So we always save ours in a bowl. Usually I wait till I have a bit more than what I actually have here. But um, you throw them on a pan and you bake them at 300 for five to 10 minutes. And the reason why you do that is because you wanna make sure to kill any bacteria that could harm the chickens in the eggshells. that they're cooked we just want to let them cool for a little bit so now that the eggs are cool the eggshells are cooled um, we let them cool for about uh, three to five minutes I just throw them in a little Ziploc bag here now I know some people don't like feeding their chickens eggs because they think it'll give them the taste of it but most chickens won't um, go after their own eggs unless they're craving calcium. So if they do do it, it's probably because you have a calcium deficiency in whatever you're feeding them or um, they're probably not free ranged because they do get regular calcium when they're free ranged. Every once in a while you do just get a crazy chicken though that will do it, but for the most part chickens will not unless they have a calcium deficiency. So anyways, now that we got them bagged up, I just kind of smash them down with my hand. And the reason you do that is to make it easier for the chickens to eat. Be careful though, because if it pokes through the bag, you might end up getting cut by an eggshell. Now that they're all um, smashed up, I just pour it into their feeder, mix it around with their cracked corn, and they'll just eat it whenever. And it works really great, helps with egg production, and it's free. The one thing chickens should never have is any food that has mold on it or any mold at all. 
A couple other things they shouldn't have would be avocado is not good for them, uh, rhubarb, any part of the rhubarb plant, and nightshade plants. So you wouldn't want them to eat a tomato plant or leaf. They can eat the tomatoes though, and they do like tomatoes. You don't want to give chickens peanuts, raw meat, processed food, and definitely no sugary foods like chocolate, candies, anything like that. Um, other things you wouldn't want them to get into is a potato plant, especially if it's flowered and it's grown a little fruit that looks kind of like a tomato on the ends. That's toxic to chickens and it'll kill them. So you want to try to avoid that. Also eggplants, they can't eat any part of an eggplant plant or an eggplant itself. That's also very toxic to chickens. So there is a ton of things you can feed them, but you do want to make sure to double check before you start feeding them something they've never had. If you want to know more about our chickens, check out this video here, and thanks for watching today.